Hey guys, what's up? Rubik's Cubed here. Today we're going to show you how to solve the last layer of the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Now, if you're watching this tutorial, that means you already know how to solve the first two layers of the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. If you don't know how to solve them, then you should check out one of the links in the description. Now, once you're done solving the second layer, you're going to have to solve the cross first for the yellow side. Then you're going to position the corners. Then you're going to position the edges. Now, at this point, there are four possibilities. One is that there's just a center dot that's yellow, and none of the other four edges are yellow. Second is that two of the edges that are next to each other are yellow. The third possibility is when you have a horizontal line. The fourth possibility is that you have a cross already solved. Now, if you just have the center dot that's yellow, then you should do the following algorithm to get two of the edges that are yellow. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Then, once you have the L, you want to make sure that the two edges that are yellow are these two. So, we're going to move this so that these two are yellow. Now, we're going to do the following algorithm, which is down here. F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. And now we have the cross solved. Now, if you have an L, then what you're going to do is turn it so that it looks like a flipped L. So that these two edges are yellow. Then, you're going to do the following algorithm. F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. And now you have the cross. If you have the horizontal line, then you're going to do the following algorithm, which is the same algorithm as the one we used the first time when we had just the yellow center. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And now we have the cross. Once you have the cross, you want to position the yellow corners properly. So if you have just one yellow corner of, and the other three are not yellow, then you're going to turn it so that it's on the bottom left position. Then you're going to do the following algorithm, which is down here. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Now, sometimes you might need to do the same algorithm twice in order to get this. And remember, if there's just one corner that's yellow, then you're going to position it in the bottom left. Another possibility is when you have just the cross and none of the corners are yellow on top. In this case, you're going to find a corner that has yellow and see if you can try to make it point that way. If not, look for another corner and see if it can point that way. Then, you're going to do the same algorithm again, which is right here. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Then you're going to get either one corner that's yellow or two corners that are yellow. Then, you're going to position it accordingly. Since there's only one corner that's yellow, we're going to position it in the bottom left, which it already is, and then do the same algorithm again. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Now, if there are two corners that are solved, they may be diagonal or next to each other, doesn't matter. If there are two corners that are yellow, then you're going to position it so that there's a yellow corner facing you. Then you're going to do the same algorithm again. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Then you're going to position it so that it's in the bottom left. Then R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Then position it. R, U, R prime, U, 
R, U2, R prime. Now that we have the whole side yellow, what you're gonna do is look for the corners. If there are two of the same corners on any side, then you're gonna match that side with the proper centerpiece. As you can see, we have two of the same colored corners on end, on one side. You're gonna match that with the proper color. So this is blue, so we're gonna match it with blue. Then you're gonna put it at the back so that these two proper corners are at the back over here. And R prime, F prime, R prime, B2, R, F prime, R prime, B2, R2, U prime. In this case, there are no sides that have two of the same corners. So, what we're going to do is look at and pick just any random corner and then put it in the right place. Since this is red and blue and this is red and blue, this is where it has to be. Then look at the opposite, the diagonal corner. That should be in the right place too. Then you can place it like this or like this. That doesn't matter. These corners can be anywhere. Then you're going to do the following algorithm, which is right here. R prime, F, R prime, B2, R, F prime, R prime, B2, R2, U prime. Now, as you can see, we have two of the same colored corners on, end, on one side. You're going to match that with the proper color. So this is blue, so we're going to match it with blue. Then you're going to put it at the back so that these two proper corners are at the back and do the same thing. R prime, F prime, R prime, B2, R, F prime, R prime, B2, R2, U prime. Now you can see that all the corners are properly in their position. The last step of solving the 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube is putting the, the edge pieces in the proper position. So there are three most common cases for putting the edges together. One is where you have the opposite edge pieces that are switched. So this is red, needs to go here. And this is orange, needs to go here. This is green, needs to go here. This is blue, needs to go here. In this case, you're going to do the following algorithm. We also have a new letter, which is M, and that's this. This is M. So, to switch the opposite ones around, like this and this, you're going to do the following algorithm, which is down here. M2, U, M2, U2, M2, U, M2. And now we have the solved Rubik's Cube. Another possibility is that three of the edge pieces are switched and just one of them is in the right place. Then you're going to see which way they have to go. The green edge piece is here, but the rest of the green face is here. The orange edge piece is here, but the rest of orange is here. That means it has to move this way. So, to move it this way, you're going to do the following algorithm. F2 U prime, L, R prime, F2, L prime, R, U prime, F2. And we have the solved Rubik's Cube. Another possibility is when you need to move the edge pieces clockwise. So the red edge piece is here, but the red face is here. The blue edge piece is here, but the blue face is here. In this case, you're going to do the following algorithm. F2 U L R prime F2 L prime R prime U and F2. And now you have the solved cube. Another possibility is that the edge pieces are switched. So the red edge piece is here, but the red face is here. Green edge piece is here, but the green face is here. And this will be double sided, so it's going to be on the other side too. It's not necessarily blue and orange and green and red. It could be green and orange, and it could be blue and red. 
any combination works as long as the faces are next to each other. So in this case you want to position the faces neck that are next to each other on your front face and your right face. Then do the following algorithm which is right here. M2 U M2 U M U2 M2 U2 M U2 and there you have it, the solved Rubik's Cube. Thanks for watching guys, please like and subscribe. Goodbye.